Hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome to our satin session. Thursday night with Jen and Nakira. Nakira. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you got Pittsburgh in the house. You got Jersey in the house. Yes. I don't know. And I think we got two good hair girls here. I don't know. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> We're all about the short hair in Jen's gems. Not yeah. all of them. I just like to throw that in. So that's kind of fun. So I'm going to pop on real quick. If you are popping on, though, we want to know you're here. So I'm seeing the number climbing. There are some watchers. So go ahead and comment and let us know you're on. And I like to just double check on my phone to make sure we are. Yes, we are live. So there's a little bit of a delay, but there we are. Okay, right. so let's see who's popping on here. Come on Lynette. in. I knew my Lynette would be on. Hey, girl. Come hey. On in. Yay. Awesome. Keep telling us that you are here. So sometimes if you're on Facebook as well, it will just say Facebook user and it won't yeah. say your name. So go ahead and comment your name. I don't have my assistant Addie down here tonight. Actually, Addie's probably watching us. Actually, she is. She just said watching. So tell me that your name, who you are. Is that you, Addie? You're just coming up Facebook user. But there she is. There's Addie. Yes. So Addie's on. Melissa's on. Hey, Hello, Nakira. Ladies. Nakira, Melissa is um, Caitlin's mom and Kirby's mother-in-law. Oh, okay. Hi. All the way in Florida. She's watching us in Florida. Yay. Hi. Yay. Kathy Carter. There's my Kathy Carter. Awesome. 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 Yes, it's Addie. Okay. I see you popping up now, girl. Okay. Okay. So we're going to give it like a couple more seconds and pop on. And if you're a consultant, yay, we are welcoming you. This is product knowledge. This is a great place yes. for you to fall and get information. If you are a guest, make sure you tell us who your consultant is because she gets credit for you popping on. So there's Emily Potts, another new consultant, super duper duper. So tell us that you're on and then we're going to go ahead and get started with our satin sesh on this. Thursday night. Yeah. We just had a crazy storm here. Have you guys been Yeah, we did too. I don't even know about that. And then was your mom out of electricity for the day? Yes. Wow. Yes. Was that from a storm as well? That was from the storm. Um, a lot of people lost power. Wow. I know yeah. she texted me, but I was in the middle of something crazy going on here. So I had to tell her I couldn't, I couldn't respond right then, but I told her I'll check in with her a little bit later. So, yeah. so okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started. So keep letting us know that you're here. We want to see you commenting. We want you, we want you to say hi for sure. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So the purpose of tonight is we're going to educate you um, on a line that we have called our satin line. And our satin line takes care of you from your lips to your toes, okay? So we're going to tell you about these products and what we love about them as well. If you are a guest or a consultant and you have these products, go ahead and grab them. You can grab them on for now. That's all. Or you can grab them for now and, and enjoy with us. If you don't have them, learn about them. And, of course, you always have the option to purchase or request samples of anything. Okay. And if you're watching this live, continue to comment. If you're watching it as a replay, always give us a hashtag replay. Okay. All right. Are you ready, Nakira? I'm ready. Okay. So the first thing we're going to talk about is taking care of our lips. Okay. So I'm going to throw up a question here. I want you guys to tell us what do you think are some of the causes of chapped lips? Chapped lips, dehydrated, yucky, scaly. Nobody's got time for them nobody's friend. No, I, again, I've been in this business 19 years. Nakira, how long have you been in the beauty industry? 16 years. 16 years. Yeah. Have you ever had someone come into your salon and say, hey girl, can you give me a product so that I can have chopped lips? No. No, exactly. No. It's quite the opposite. So give us some reasons of what you think causes chopped lips. So what do we have here? Dehydration. Yes. You guys are so smart. You are so smart, dehydrated, absolutely dehydrated. So dehydration causes all that scaly and all that yucky. So the first thing I like to do is a little bit of a secret, actually. Not everybody knows about this. So you see Nakira has a bolder lip color on, and I have more of a neutral nudie lip color on, right? So I'm going to tell you something. Our oil-free eye makeup remover is mm -hmm. actually a secret weapon for lips. 
Okay. Now my poor demo, look at my demo. <laughs> Girl, you know I'm using every drop of this. It is like gold in this house, right? So we're gonna shake it before we use it. But here's the facts. The skin around your eyes that's thin, the skin on your lips, same thing. Yeah. So we're gonna take a little bit of this and we're gonna use this product to take off. Our lipstick, okay? So we're gonna swipe that off. And while Nakira's doing hers, I'm going to read some more. So Tracy Z said, hi, beautiful ladies. Windburn, yes. You know what? We forget about Windburn. But I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. Pittsburgh area, I know, Jersey, you're going into cities. You're seeing things happen, too. Windburn is a big cause for chap lips. Absolutely. Yeah. Look at Jen's bottle. Lynette feels bad for me. Girl, Lynette, can you hook me up? <laughs> I know I'm, I'm pathetic, but I, one thing about Jen Albertini, I am frugal. So here's another secret while Nakira takes off her lips. I'm so frugal when my hand cream at my desk, cause I have hand creams all over the house. When they start to run low, I cut the top off and I dig in there with a Q-tip. <laughs> don't think I don't. Do You're not, not the only one. I don't. Mm -hmm. Not that I can't pull another one right off my shelf, but I am using it up. Okay. Jessica eating too many salt and vinegar chips. That is true. Yes. And sunburn. <laughs> sunburn is bad for lips. A lot of kids too, right? Do you ever find yeah. me to get that right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So now that we took off our lipstick, we're going to go into the satin product. Okay. So why don't you tell them a little bit about the first step, Nakira? I'm going to hold it up here like Vanna White. You tell them about this scrub. So our first product is the satin lip scrub, and this is the Shea Sugar Scrub. So this is, it tastes and smells delicious. Delicious, actually, it tastes sweet, and this is to exfoliate. So this is like a lip mask, and so as you put that on, like Jen is doing, you can let it sit for a couple seconds, and then begin to rub it in little circular motions all around to get that dead skin off and to smooth out those lips. And even while you're doing that, the shea butter is infused in there, so it's still, you know, just infusing the moisture and the hydration is doing that even before you put on the actual lip balm. So it's really, really good. And I do this, um, actually put this on my son's lips because, you know, those little lips, they get chapped a lot. So I actually do um, satin lip on him all the time. Yeah. Yes. I, I totally get that. Mm -hmm. um, so while I leave this sit on, I'll talk for a second. So yeah, Nakir is right. Really, this is safe for anybody. Men will use this, kids will use this, and it actually is the shea butter for the hydration mm -hmm. and mixed with sugar. So the sugar is this is the grip. Yeah. Just be careful because one time we caught my three year old grandson literally sucking on the tube. But <laughs> I'll be honest with you, it can't hurt you. It's safe. It's just the shea mixed with the sugar. But you can actually feel it. When you're rubbing, you can feel the dead skin coming off. And that's what I think is amazing about this product is I love products that are instant results. Instant yeah. results. Okay? Yeah, so some of these girls are saying, oh, there's Mama. Hey, Mama Lois. Hey, there. <laughs> hey, Mom. Uh, Taylor loves it, too. See Lynette saying for her little girl as well, toodles. My little toodles. <laughs> Having a birthday. Um, I love it. I bought two just for me. Yep, I get it. Caitlin's watching now. So you'll see that as it's sitting on there, it looks kind of creamy, right? Mm -hmm. That's the shea. And then you have the, the sugar scrub as well. And then all we do is we just take a wet cloth and we just wipe it off. So after a couple minutes, you wipe it off. And I'll be honest, after you wipe it off, you instantly feel the hydration, mm -hmm. you instantly start to feel the moisture. And sometimes what I notice is that if you have a lot of dead skin, and I did satin lips this morning, so I cheated a little bit. I kind of forgot we were doing it tonight. But um, <laughs> if you have dry lips and you do that, if you look at the camera, you can see our lips, the more color in our lips. Look at the pigment density, right? Mm -hmm. You will see that just from the natural moisture coming to the surface of the skin and healthy right yeah, healthy yeah. lips have some color your lips shouldn't be the same color as the rest of your face right yeah. okay so now we're going to add our lip balm so tell me about this why am i going to do this so your actual shea lip balm this is going to just what i say like seal the deal so this is oh. sealing in all that hydration 
is healing in that moisture and a nice protective layer over your skin is uh, the shea butter and naturally conditions the skin and nourishes it. And it tones out the, your skin tone of your lips. If you have some discoloration, shea butter is good for that as well. Love it. Love it. Mm -hmm. and, um, it feels so good. We have these and Addie's on and she can call me out because, you know, 16 year old girls will do that if you if moms tell a fib. <laughs> but she will tell you we have this hidden or stashed all over our house um, where I sit on my recliner. It's on the table by me. I have them in my office drawer. We have them mm -hmm. in our car. We grab this product all the dang time because it feels so good. It does. It just, it's just hydrating. And again, I'm sure Manny has no problem with this, right? Like nope. your lips are a little chopped. He grabs it. I love that the tip is angled as well mm -hmm. because yeah. this ring this ring light is fighting me tonight. Right. I needed I needed it for my darkness, but um, this the tip you just it now this is my demo, but you would put this <laughs> right against your lip. Mm -hmm. And it just angles on and it glides on so easy. So one thing about Mary Kay that I like to remind everybody is even though some of our products come as a set, um, they're not married. They're just boyfriend and girlfriend. So you can buy them as a set, but you can also buy them single, right? They work alone as well. Or you might find, hey, I'm running out of the lip balm faster because I'm using it more. Right. You can just reorder that. OK, so don't always feel like, oh, do I have to get everything as a set? No, right. they come together, boyfriend and girlfriend. They work together, but they also can be purchased single as well. Mm -hmm. OK. All right. So how are we feeling? Feeling good? Feeling good. Here's my Addie. See, I knew she'd wrap me out. Mom keeps one in her robe pocket permanently. She knows it. <laughs> she knows that my robe's upstairs. Believe it or not, I don't have my robe, which is rare. Um, but yes, I keep it in my pocket. Jessica, you are my spirit animal. Yes. Oh, because because Lynette said she licks it before she wipes it off. Don't even lie. You know that's true. Okay, so we're going to tell you guys a couple more secrets about chap lips. So one thing that I learned a while ago from one of our makeup artists is, do you remember back in the day, and Nakira, you're, you're younger than me, but back, Lois, you'll, you'll remember this. Back in the day, you could sometimes tell a woman's age by the fine lines around her lips. Do you remember that? Even on TV, and a lot of times it was attributed to smoking, mm -hmm. right? Smoking, smoking was a thing at the time, and some people do still smoke, but even people who still smoke got conscious of those lines and started taking care of it. Well, in the last decade, makeup artists and people in the beauty industry have started to notice that even though smoking with women has been on the decline, those mm -hmm. stinking fine lips have been popping out. So I want you guys to post why you think women are still getting fine lines around their lips. Mm -hmm. What do you think are some of the other causes of those fine lines happening around their lips? So we're going to let you post that. Share with us. I'm going to give a shout out to who else jumped on. So my Julie jumped on. Hey, Julie Rakoski. Did I miss anybody? Did I miss anybody? Dark lips too. Yep, you'll notice those lines. You're right. Drinking from a straw, Julie mm -hmm. said. I think you've heard me talk about this before. But yes, that puckering motion of drinking through a straw mm -hmm. causes the same kind of lines. Same thing with drinking out of a water bottle. Yeah. Kind of lines. So you actually want to take your balm and make sure you're getting that hydration all around the edges. Not don't just stop where the color is. Take it all the way out. It is a treatment product, 100%. Okay. All right. So now we're going to move on to the next phase of our satin session. And this one is actually a three-piece set. Mm -hmm. This is our satin hand set. Okay. So we're going to start with the first step, which is the hand softener. So I'm going to talk about this step. So the hand softener, you actually use just a tiny, tiny drop, like the size of a pea. But mm -hmm. when you rub that in, the longer you rub it, it actually gets, I, call, I know this is a fancy term, it gets gooier. I don't think you learned that in beauty school. But it gets more, it gets more um, emollient and you can yes. rub it in longer. And also it will feel warmer. And that is from... A very fancy ingredient. If you go to fancy spas, which I don't do, but if you do go, 
you are offered a paraffin hand dip. Yes. Well, there actually is paraffin in this product. So the longer uh -huh. you rub it, it's like sealing in the moisture, the hydration. So after we've used the hand softener to seal it all in, tell us about the next step, Nakira. So the next step is our actually uh, the satin smoothie refining scrub. Look, <laughs> there it is. Yes. So this right here, it exfoliates and that's polishing away um, all the dead skin off your hands. And that's also helping to seal in that paraffin that we just emulsified into our hands. And so that is all is helping, is cleansing our hands, is nourishing, is also polishing the dead skin off and the dry skin off of your hands. And it's just infusing it with more and more moisture. So that's really good too. I love that. Yes, I do too. And how uh -huh. fun is it when you let Manny use this? He he doesn't like it. Oh, really? What doesn't he like about it? Because it feels gritty? Yeah, he doesn't like that gritty texture, so he does oh not my like gosh. it. That is funny. He that's will not use it. That's because he's a prince. He isn't fooling around with any of that. Well, my no. grandsons, who, for lack of a better term, are, are definitely little rough kids. Um, they will play in the dirt till the day is long. So they think they're washing their hands with dirt. Right. They're like, oh, that feels good. They're used to that. So they have no problem right. with it. So something I like to talk about, and honestly, this is a great thing for people in New Jersey to know or anybody along the coast. Years ago, um, there was a lot of, of uh, hoopla that went around because some of the exfoliating body products actually contained little plastic pellets. Mm -hmm. Do you remember seeing this in the news? Mm -hmm. And those little plastic pellets would wash through the sink. Well, guess what? They would wash into the ocean and they would affect the coral reefs. They would affect the, the animal life, the, the marine life that lived in the ocean. Well, Mary Kay is always ahead of the curve. And of course, we are animal friendly. So these little grit, the, the little grit that's in there, the texture will actually dissolve in water. Not while you're washing, but as it goes through the system yeah. and goes through the treatment system before it gets out to the ocean. So it is safe. To be used even in coastal areas, it will not clog your sink and it's not going to affect fish and the turtles and yeah. the coral reef and everything else that lives there. So, you know, we are really conscious of that. So I want to I want to really give Mary Kay a shout out for that, for being ahead of the curve when it comes mm -hmm. to that. So thank you, Mary Kay, for sure. And then the last product, which you saw my little cheater, my little sample one here, <laughs> is the hand cream. And the hand cream is amazing. Now, Nakira's is holding, if you see the one she's holding up, it's the light blue tube. And mine is actually the mint green tube because, right? Am I right? I can't say. Do you have the light the blue? Mint green. Oh, it is. I can't see in the color. Okay. So we both have the same one up. So we're both showing you the white tea and citrus version, but there is also a fragrance free version. Mm -hmm. So the reason we have that is a couple things. First of all, sometimes guys, you know, oh, I don't want to use anything. It's not a heavy perfume. It's not going to be smelly like any kind of smell. Mm -hmm. but it does have a little bit of a scent. Also, there's some people that if you work in the medical profession or you work somewhere else, you might want a fragrance-free option. So we do mm -hmm. have a fragrance-free option as well. Okay. Um, again, the uh, the set. Another great thing about this set, a little secret secret, is how many of us are desperate for a pedicure. This girl, like I'm, I'm almost embarrassed of myself <laughs> and I'm almost embarrassed too, because I have this at home. I've just been too dang lazy to do it, but pretty soon I'm going to have to break out the flip flops because I have some cute flip flops. Do you have cute flip flops? Mm -hmm. Right? They're fun. So how about this? Take a tub or fill your bathtub just with, you know, a couple inches of water, pretty hot. And you can do satin hands on your feet. It's an at home yes. pedicure. That's right? So mm -hmm. It is super fun, super easy. Even if you're going to go get a pedicure, more power to you. I applaud that. But maybe you want to do a little pre-pedicure because the poor lady, don't don't let that lady see your Corona feet. She does <laughs> not want to see your Corona heels. She doesn't. And Addie, you don't need to comment about mom's feet either. We don't need you commenting about mom's feet. Okay. So before we go off of hands, I want you guys to drop us some things, some some reasons of what else causes dry hands. Help educate mm -hmm. us and educate each other. What causes dry hands? So I'm going to read some of the comments here. Uh, 
Oh, Lynette said Taylor will go to the bathroom just so she has a reason to wash her hands. <laughs> She's not like Manny. Right. She is not like Manny, right? Oh, no. I use this on my mom's hands. Your mom uses it on your grandmom's hands. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay. Yeah, washing dishes. And I know the satin hands, I keep satin hands in the salon um, oh. because I'm constantly shampooing hair and my hands are literally like raw by the yep. end of the week. Absolutely. And I do the, you know, and it's like skin that's like flaking and everything. Yep. And so the satin hands is really a, um, a saving grace if you're constantly washing hands, your hands are always yep. in water, yep. your cuticles. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yep. Mm -hmm. So how about people that work in a daycare because they're washing yes. their hands all the time? People in the medical profession, of mm -hmm. course, um, like you said, hair salon because the chemicals too. And wearing gloves, like people think, oh, you're wearing gloves to protect. Gloves will dry your hands out. Yes. Your hands mm -hmm. over there, they get a little bit sweaty. And guess what the first thing is? They will get chopped and dehydrated. Oh, yes. So this is a system. And I should have mm -hmm. said this with these satin lips too. You cannot overuse these products, my friends. Nope. If you are, if you're in an industry or here's, how about this one? Hand sanitizer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like as soon as I use it, it feels like I, my hands are so dry. They're straight so alcohol. If you're in a profession or you're doing mm -hmm. things, I work at a bar. Who's saying that? Yes, Jess, you work at a bar. Your hands are constantly in mm -hmm. water, constantly. And you know, we're glad your, your profession, other professions, you're washing your hands and taking care of that. But it will wreak havoc. And let me tell you something else about dry chopped hands. That is a breeding ground for infection. Yes. When you have cuts on your hands, you're actually doing a disservice and you're putting yourself kind of behind the eight ball with that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. having a system like this, and here's another little trick, the hand softener, you can put a nice layer of that on and go right to bed with it on. Yes. Or you could put it on your feet and slip socks on and overnight, again, mm -hmm. that the heat, ex, the heat action of the paraffin is going to make a huge difference. Yeah. So yes, yes, yes. Thank you for that. Um, Pre-K teacher for eight years, Lynette is saying, Wash, yeah, talk about washing your hands. I can just imagine. Okay. Um, it's flammable sanitizers. Hand sanitizer is flammable, right? Because it's alcohol. Yeah. So, I mean, think mm -hmm. about what it's doing to your poor, poor, poor hands. I know. Right. It's a shame. Okay. We're going to move on to the third phase of our satin set. And this actually is three, was three pieces. But just this month, we found out that a fourth piece is going to be regular line with our satin set. Okay. So, we're going to post again and we're going to ask you to share some reasons about what causes your skin, your body skin, to get dry and itchy. Mm -hmm. And while you're sharing that, we're gonna talk about these four set, four pieces, okay? So the four pieces to this, actually, which I did not know this, I will give credit where credit is due to Laura Asef, sales director Laura Asef, who actually educated me. Did you know this, Nakira? Did you know, and of course my ring light is blocking it, but there is a stripe at the top of each, bottle mm -hmm. it's the order to do it oh i never no. knew that so there is a single stripe on the scrub a double stripe on the wash and a triple stripe on the lotion i didn't Isn't know that, that. Crazy? i never knew that either laura introduced me to that so when we talk about the scrub mm -hmm. we're just going to take a moment to praise this scrub <laughs> take a moment to say Lord knows this almost 50 year old body from the neck up. I got it covered from the neck down. I need a bigger tube. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So here's what I want to tell you. You don't even know how dry and dead your body skin is and right. you start using an exfoliant on it. And when you put an exfoliant, whether you put it on your hands, on a washcloth, on a loofah, digging up all that dead skin, your skin will look healthier. It will mm -hmm. have a glow. And here's something you need to know, my friends. When you have healthy body skin that glows, you instantly look thinner. How, about that? How about that? Right? Can't wait for mine to come in. I know, right? So this <laughs> exfoliant is amazing. It's a light enough texture that you're going to be able to dig up dead elbow skin, dead knee skin. Uh but it's also gentle enough to do on your whole entire body. 
And the other thing is, which we talk about this with the face nonstop, we talk about the fact that if you <clears throat> if you exfoliate your face, all the products you put on afterwards work so much better. Well, if you're using things like toning lotion, you're using things like body wash and body lotions, you need to start by exfoliating the dead skin first, right? Yeah. Do you agree with that, Nikira? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Okay, let me see who's saying what. Um, when moisture gets trapped under my rings, yep, whenever you wear the wear gloves, right, mm -hmm. Jess? I get it. Addie, her eczema, yes, that does cause dry skin. You're right, detergents and clothes. You guys know. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Your mom's giving it claps and praise. There we go. There we go. <laughs> My belly loves it. Lynette, stop. I can't even. And, you know, of course, we don't have anything miracle as far as, like, you know, people getting stretch marks or people getting things because Mary Kay is topical. But, again, healthy skin is going to have more elasticity. So you mm -hmm. do have less of a chance of having noticeable stretch marks. Absolutely. So after we exfoliate, we want to make sure that every single time we're using a fresh, healthy wash. So the wash, again, is that is the shea wash. So when you're using a product that is shea infused, every single step is adding hydration. Mm -hmm. And that, my friends, is a miracle. And then the last piece in the three tube set is the body lotion. Again, safe to use all over. But Nakira, have you yeah. tried? The day. Oh yes. Okay, so tell me about that. Tell me what you love. Look, it's almost gone yes. already. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. I love it. It instantly just uh, your skin just instantly absorbs it. It's in, it instantly softens, moisturizes, and I put it on. And like usually, if I'm using. I mean, the regular lotion, the other lotion I was using, I can't stand it. Um, I was using Jergens, and I'm like, I hate this because by the end of the day or half of the day, it's, you're ashy again. And so, yep. Yep. yeah. And I'm like, I, I put that, the, the whipped body butter on mm -hmm. and I'm moist all day. My feet are soft all day. Yep. Um, so it's really, really nice. Yes. Very nice. I, I agree. I agree. Um, I, whenever I've been demoing it, I kind of go like this to show people how rich mm -hmm. it is. And somebody said, I think it was Julie actually that said, that's what you do whenever you order a, um, a Dairy Queen, when you order a blizzard, <laughs> they turn it upside down to show you how thick it is. So I'm getting, this is my own personal one too. I know we have our own cause <laughs> we're showing you hers, but I love to show that as soon as you yeah. rub it on, you get like an emulsified sheen that you can see, but it is not greasy. You could put your no. clothes on immediately. As soon as you put this on, you could put your clothes over top of it. So yeah. it's amazing. And it does have the light scent to it. But I'll be honest with you. After you rub it in a little while, the smell goes away. So if you don't love fragrance, don't think you're this. Don't be opposed to this. It's not a perfumey scent. See the shine? I mean, you can see the healthy skin yeah. as soon as yeah, you so put nice. that on. As soon as you put that on. And doesn't it and feel amazing? Greedy. I agree. I agree. Um, okay. So your mom asked about the exfoliating with the dark patches on elbows. So again, any place where, where dead skin grabs, it's going to have discoloration. It's not going mm -hmm. to accept other products as easy. So while we don't make a claim that it's necessarily going to help with darkening, it will exfoliate it. So mm -hmm. likely you're going to make, it's going to make the appearance seem lighter. Yes, absolutely. Um, Lynette, she's cracking me up. She's loving it for her belly. Shauna, you jumped on. Yay! Pushing 40 and you can barely do mascara. Oh, that was Addie doing her mascara video yesterday. Yeah. I love you, Addie. Um, Mary Green, I love my products. Yay! Awesome. And Jessica, she loves the scent as well. So that is phenomenal. So guys, we want you to know that we have you covered. Like Mary Kay, we have so many patents and so many people know about our amazing skincare and anti-aging products, but we have you covered for your body. We have you covered for hydration. We have you covered for gifts mm -hmm. think about that. So when we think about satin lips, when we think about satin hands, satin body and the whipped shea, who do you think right now deserves gifts, Nakira? Who do you think about for gift giving this summer? Fathers. Father's Day is coming up. Yep. Um, yep. Who else? What else is coming up? It's always um, so, gift giving season. 
<laughs> that's true. Or gift receiving season, right? Gift yourself. Um, I've been thinking to myself too, like I know some people, they probably haven't seen their moms even since all the Corona stuff. True. Yeah. What about a belated Mother's Day, right? Belated Taking Mother's that, Day. Not, yeah. and trust me, mothers deserve gifts all the time. There you go. Lois, there's a plug for you, Lois. There's a plug for you. Um, <laughs> but you know, take advantage of that. What about, sometimes I think about people like our mail carrier mm -hmm. or, you know, a people like a restaurant worker or somebody, if you have a, a place that you go to regularly, you know what? Why don't you grab her a hand cream? It's a $12 retail item. I know, and we did this. And, and again, Addie can tell you, um, I wrapped one up and I left it in my mailbox a few weeks ago. Well, do you know, a couple days later, she let my mail carrier, who is a woman, left me a handwritten note in my mailbox. And she thanked me and she said, my mom always used Mary Kay hand cream. Like, how sweet is that, right? Because mm -hmm. there's people that, that, are, that, that are not being thanked for the work they're doing right now. Yeah. And, you know, the whipped shea cream makes an amazing gift. This makes an amazing gift. The satin lips makes an amazing gift. Because it's not, it doesn't matter. They don't have to wear makeup. Everybody loves that little bit of extra pampering. Hospital yeah. staff, yeah. Lynette. Yes. We have so many people, like when Alyssa O'Neill had her baby, when other people have their babies, they will take hand creams and leave them. Some of you know, at the beginning of the whole Corona thing, my son Gavin was actually admitted to the ICU. He did not have the coronavirus. But when I went to pick him up, I took them a full size satin handset to thank them for their work that they were doing. Because, every, you know, people are fearful. It's not, yeah. it's not a great time. This is the time. This is the time in our in our world, whether it is, you know, the things we're seeing on the news lately, you know, with the division, with all of that, whether it's the coronavirus, whether it's just your community. You know, when you stop to show that you're thinking of other people, actions speak louder than words, my friend. Mm -hmm. They just do. So know that Mary Kay has your back with all of that. OK, so we do want to remind you of one thing. We want to remind you that if you are watching us, sometimes with the YouTube link, um, your comments don't come through. So don't worry. All you have to do is text your beauty consultant and tell her that you watched or comment in her group and let her know that you watched and you will be entered to win a prize. So I will post the prize winner um, probably tomorrow or even Saturday morning. OK, so we got you with that. So the last thing that I like to cover is I do like to remind everybody that even though I love what I do, even though Nakira loves what she does, even though all of these beauty consultants that are on here commenting love what they do, there are not enough of us. There's not. There's more skin out there to be, to be taken care of than what we have covered right now. So we want to tell everybody that in the midst of this pandemic, Mary Kay Corporate has come out with a way to safely allow you to work your business 100% virtually if you choose to do so. And it's called the $30 e-start. You see that? And for the $30 e-start, an independent beauty consultant will get a, a website for customers to visit and shop and the availability to accept credit and debit card payments instantly so that she can be in business right out of the gate. So we are very open for this. There's going to be, we have weekly sessions like this that I have my beautiful co-host Nakira with me. I have different surprise co-hosts coming up. We have mm -hmm. other places, we have private customer groups. And we want you to know that if you've ever thought about a plan B, or I'll be honest, maybe you're thinking about a plan A. Right. Because right. through all of this, I can tell you. So Nakira, tell us about your, your career besides Mary Kay. How was that affected through this coronavirus? Would you share that? Yeah, sure. So um, like I said, I'm a licensed cosmetologist um, and I have a salon and it's actually um, a little over my first year and pandemic hit. I had to shut down and close the doors. And so coming home, um, I did, ha you know, have my own products and stuff. But with the warehouses shutting down, I couldn't even order more materials. So yep. I had to work my Mary Kay business and I'm so glad that um, I picked it up and decided to, all right, let's get this ball rolling back in January yep. uh, because it, it, it helped, you know, it helped supplement uh, my business and different expenses um, and just having money in my pocket during this time. So, yep, I know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you and I both know that God is good. Yeah, because 
you know, a year ago when Nakira officially joined the world, you know, life happened, stuff happened, mm -hmm. this happened, that happened, she opened her salon, whatever, you know, we have, we all have personal stuff. Right. And she mm -hmm. thought it's there for me. It's on the back burner. It's there right. for me. Well, when 2020 came, she said, you know what? I miss this. I like the products. I want to dig in a little bit deeper. So we started to partner a little bit in January. We partnered a little bit in February. The first weekend in March, she came to an event that I did mm -hmm. and we bonded and we prayed and we talked about the future and we had amazing things happen. And it was a weekend and about a week later, yes, pandemic, cool. pandemic. But I said to Nakira, let's, let's keep with the plan. Let's keep with mm -hmm. the plan. And we stayed with it. And in the month of May, Nakira added team members through April and May, added sharp, amazing team members. Of course, like her mom, Lois, and, and Lynette that's on right now. And I don't know if any of your other team members are on, but I will mm -hmm. tell you, Lynette is pregnant. She's going to have a baby in August. And she has another little girl. That girl, she is she selling like a beast or what? Yes. Like, I think all she has to do is sit around and do Mary Kay all day. I'm right. like, I'm like, did you sell any charcoal masks? Oh, I sold 13. What? Right. She's, she's almost like it's a couple days into the month and she's already earned the first prize from me. Yeah. And your mom. So I'm talking to your mom on the phone. I'm thinking your mom's like, oh, she's retired. She just is not. No, your mom is the primary caregiver of her mom, who is right. gorgeous, by the way. Let me tell you, your grandma is hot, right? I mean, I <laughs> see the genes in that family are strong and they're, because they're working, you're getting money deposited into your account. It's exciting you. I know when you have a team working, you're excited to work. Your yes. customers have been so supportive and beautiful and amazing and they're loving the products and they're asking the right questions. And my friends, sometimes your side hustle becomes more important in your life. Yes. And because of that, you know, I know that you have a little boy that you had to learn how to homeschool. That wasn't on your plan. Your plan was not yes. to have to homeschool nope. Manny, right? <laughs> and then, you know, I know with your husband, he's no. going to work and you were dealing with that. And let's see, Lynette's sharing here. So Jessica asked her, tell me about the $30, investing the $30 so far. I'm going to read what Lynette put because it's beautiful. She said, this $30 investment has helped me restore my credit by paying off credit cards. It also helped me to adjust my family since I'm not working at all. Like I just wanted discounted products, but I'm loving the sisterhood. Love how we are in this together. Yes, the best $30 ever. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, she got me spending my whole check is what Mary said. Yeah. So you know what, guys? <laughs> it is. It is the sisterhood. We love each other. And we're just, it's a safe place. It's a safe, positive distraction from sometimes a world that doesn't feel so safe. Mm -hmm. So we want you to know that we've got you covered head to toe. We've got you covered with satin products. We've got you covered with gifts. Nakira is there to answer your questions. I'm here to answer your questions. And we both thank you from the bottom of our hearts for spending this time with us thank tonight. You. Okay. So thank you again. If you have more questions, thank continue you. to comment. Your comments get you entered in. And I will post, and uh, Lynette, or, um, Lynette will post, Nakira will post in her group who the winner is, and we will pick a winner, if not tomorrow, definitely by Saturday morning. Okay? All right. We thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.